really want to, to say something. One is, again, I'm grateful that people are interested in this profession. I think in medicine today, I want people coming in, understanding it's going to be hard, but that they don't have to know everything. They don't have to be perfect. At the volume of knowledge that is churning out every day, there's nobody who knows everything. So it's perfectly okay to not know. That's why you're coming to medical school. I want people not to constantly compare themselves to each other, feeling like imposters, which is very big in a lot of professions, definitely in medicine, because I feel that that, these things hinder learning, you know, and there's there's a very important thing in medicine that you have to be internally motivated to want to do this and do it well. And, And skill takes a long time. The other thing I think, we are so, everything is, we wanted yesterday, right? But this is science and art, and it takes years. Even when they graduate from medical school, they're not going to be great physicians. That takes a lifetime. They'll get sick in July, right? right. <laughs> and so I, I wanted to say that we think Geisel will get people there. Um, not only the foundational sciences are very strong. I think for decades, we have been really excellent uh, in our clinical care. I mean, if you think about like, the first x-ray was uh, at Dartmouth, a clinical oh, x-ray. I didn't know yes. that. The first ICU in the country was at Dartmouth. Ooh. I already talked about the Dartmouth Atlas. I think a lot of people know that the, the mRNA COVID vaccine um, went quicker to market because that happened with the scientist at Dartmouth. Um, and so I, I think there's the we could help people get to be that incredible complete physician if they want to be that. But they need to look inside deeply first. <laughs>